My name is Thomas. Together with Ajit, we work together on a project for our DSP lab. And what we did in this case, we used an evaluation board of Texas Instruments, the EZ DSP C5535 kit, to make a keyboard that you can tap on without actual keys. So what you can see here in the setup, if you just quickly go to the setup here on the right, is that um, you can see a keyboard which is not having actual mechanic keys, but just keys printed on it. And we put piezos to the left and right end of this keyboard, which pick up vibrations that are happening when you press a key. So the aim of this is that you could, instead of using, using an actual keyboard from a PC, just print a piece of paper on a normal desk and use your desk as a keyboard. So what we did is we, we put up a, an analog front end to get the signal from the piezo signals, uh, from, from the piezo microphones, and then we passed that input signal to the DSP evaluation board here on the left. On the left. And on the DSP board, we implemented also an LCD, or we, we, implement, we used the LCD screen there, and we currently are printing the message hello. So what we can do now is that we can tap on the keyboard and by tapping on the keyboard we can for example also make a message that is called test so I'm using a pen right now because a pen is a much pointier signal than just using your finger but your finger would also work so I'm just using a pen to type the message T E S and another T so if you look now at the output you will see that Apart from the hello, there's also T-E-O-T -E added to it. So it's not exactly what we typed, which, is, which should be test, it's T-E-O-T. -E so you can kind of see it. So the thing, is that, the thing is that here, right now, we had an error. And that error just occurred because we're not having a sampling rate that's high enough. And also we are still having some timing issues in our board. But still, our setup is working in 90% of the cases, not all of them, but we can type basic messages with it. So I hope, I hope that you like this short presentation of our project, and please read our abstract. We will be containing more information there, as in why exactly we're having these errors, and how we, are, how we could try to solve them.